Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name's Adam and today we're going to be talking about LifePo4 batteries, the lithium cells. And I've been to an event recently and spoken to a lot of self-build um, camper van owners. And uh, when I was talking to them, I, I asked them, um, I, just random conversation, I started talking to them about uh, what batteries they had on board. And the majority of people said that they had um, leisure batteries or flooded lead acid um, uh, or AGMs, uh, you know, the, the, the standard heavy batteries. And I asked the question, why did they not go lithium? And every every answer that I got back from them was they are so expensive. And I, I started looking into it and, and uh, realized that, yes, they are commercially um, available batteries are very expensive, the lithiums. So I thought I'd go one step further, and um, I, I said to them about uh, the, what I'd done uh, building the battery banks from scratch, and I even showed them some examples of what I did. And so many people at the show were so interested in what I did, and they wanted me to compile a video, um, put a video out there, one guy was begging me to do it and uh, I, I mean there is so much on the internet out there about these batteries um, it, they're really easy to build but I thought I'd uh, I'd give you a little bit of a heads up of what I've done um, this is a slideshow video just to give you an idea of what how I've put it together I will be putting together a proper video of building a battery bank from scratch um, so uh, yeah, let's let's have a look at the slideshow and and get a, a heads up of what I done. So this is just a disclaimer warning: lithium batteries are dangerous. Do not attempt to follow my lead if you're not competent. The way I do things are not necessarily the right way; they're just my way that works for me. If you get this wrong, you could burn your rig down. I take no responsibility for anyone copying what I do. Be careful, guys. So what you're going to get on the market um, are, are pre-built batteries, uh, nice fancy boxes with uh, with some nice logos and stickers on them, and uh, you know they're, they're they're expensive. They're very very expensive batteries. Um, this is a 12 volt version of a of a LiPo 4, 200 amp an hour. Um, you, you're going to be paying a lot of money for the fancy box. Now, if you can see the cells inside them, um, these cells are readily available cells now if that battery if that whole battery bank went down um you would you would you would lose that whole bank you you would get rid of that whole battery it would be gone for good whereas um the way i'm doing it is individual cells and uh, by doing individual cells if i had a cell go down i could remove that one cell replace it with a new one balance the pack and i'd be back up and running again so it, it makes sense to do it yourself um obviously uh, going for a, for a pre-built pack, pack, you haven't got to worry about any of the balancing or anything. It's all done for you, but it's really easy to do. So these are the cells I've used. These are 3.2 volts, 105 amp an hour each cell, uh, LiPo4 batteries. Um, they are uh, built into packs like this. So this is the this is um, each one of these cells is is 3.2, 3.2, 3.2, 3.2, and the way we configure it, uh, positive here. Uh, then we join the negative to the positive of the next battery, negative to the positive, negative to the positive, and then we end up with a negative. So what we uh, what we get is we've still got 105 amps, even though these cells are 105 amps each. Um, because of the configuration, the way we're doing it, we're still going to get 105 amps, but what we're doing is we're increasing the voltage on each pass. So by joining the voltages together, what we end up with is 12.8 uh, volts across these two terminals at 105 amps of a whole pack. So that's uh, that's how we uh, we actually build these battery banks. Really easy to do. And as I say, if one of these cells go down, we just undo it. We take that cell out and we replace it with a new cell, and we're back hunky dory again, all up and running. So I bought 16 of these cells uh, at 3.2 volts, 105 amp, and they cost me. This is from AliExpress. They cost me 509 pounds and 68 pence. And they took two months uh, to come by ship on deep sea from China. 
uh, got them. They were grade B cells, um, so they're seconds. But it, 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 even a grade B cell will give you plenty enough amps an hour, so you'll have plenty of uh, of power left in them. Um, so this is the first lot I bought. I have bought an additional set from China. I bought another 16 and uh, I paid another £100 more for them, to be honest. So there, there, there wasn't a huge difference between them. Um, but the new 16 were grade A's, so they've never been used, um, never been never been touched at all. So uh, I'm going to be building battery banks out of those as well. But the initial 16, I've been running on these uh, for the last few months and no problems at all. They've been, they've been really good batteries, to be honest. So they weigh 199 grams each, uh, each cell. They're 13 centimeters by 19.5 centimeters by 3.5 centimeters. So they're quite small batteries. And when you've got a, a pack together, um, it all really, it, it, it's quite a small pack. So when we build these, we need a BMS, a battery management system. So I opted for these. Um, these are the, uh, the my ones are Maya, but they are the same make. Uh, they're 100 amps each. I bought four of those from AliExpress, and uh, they cost me £276.85. So what we do with the battery banks and the BMS is we connect them up like this. So this is the actual power side of things. So we've got the negative supply here going into the BMS, and then it comes out of the BMS to whatever you're supplying. The positive on the battery comes straight out the battery and straight to whatever you're supplying. So it, it only goes through the negative side for the BMS. So that's your main power side of things. We now look at the monitoring side of things. So this, this actual BMS will monitor each individual cell. So if we see here, all right, this is monitoring this one and this connects to the positive here. So that's, that's cell one. And this one here is cell two, so it's, it's monitoring this one. So this BMS will monitor all four packs and it'll see what levels are in each. And what that will do is that will then balance. So if this cell is slightly lower than these three, it will bring this one up to what level is on the other three. And it will keep all, all four batteries level on, on charge. So this is a very crude um, picture of uh, of what I've actually installed. Now this is this was a mock up just to for testing purposes. Um, this isn't how I've I've left my batteries. Um, I, I put it together. I've balanced it. I've tested it. I've drawn a hundred amps off of it. Really good uh, good amount of power. Um, and I've I've done I've probably done about ninety five amps an hour off of that battery. Um, pulling it, uh, pull it continuous pull on it, and it's it's ran absolutely beautifully. So I've got four of these packs, um, and this is what they look like now. So this is uh, 3D printed covers um, and plates and uh, a 3D printed housing for the BMS. So it makes it a little bit neater um, and, and a bit more safer because we're, we're actually covering the terminals. So this is what I say, guys, really be careful about these batteries because they do bite. Um, I've put on here 175 pa uh, amp an hour um uh, what are they called? They're called um, 175 amp uh, Anderson plugs. That's the one. That's the word I was looking for. So that's the 175 amp. This is a 50 amp. So I put this on for charging as well. And you can see down the bottom here, I've got a 120 amp fuse in line as well. So uh, any any faults on this will actually take that fuse out. I've also added, um, this is a, a separate balancing uh, system. So this actually, although the BMS will balance through this lead here, which goes to each battery, sorry, this lead here that goes to each battery, um, I've put an additional balancer on there as well so I can see it. And these have got lights on the top. So when a cell is ba being balanced, I can actually see which cell is actually being balanced. And this will balance as well. No harm in that. Um, it's it's just doubling up on what this one will do. If the batteries are still in balance, then they're in balance. That's it. So you won't see any lights on there at all. So these will charge at 50 amps an hour. So you can actually put 50 amps into that and, uh, and and bring the batteries up quicker. And the draw on it, you can take 100 amps out of this. Now, that might not seem a lot, but it is. Um, when, you, when you're when you adding four packs of these together, you're drawing, uh, you can draw up to 400 amps odd. So this is another picture of uh, the back of the... Um, the back of the battery build and uh, and this is how we've configured it so we've got four in line with four bms's and they all join together so we've got 
3.8 volts here at 105 amps. And because we link them all together, we end up with 12.8 volts at 420 amps. So potentially I can pull 420 amps off of this here. So this cable needs to be rated suitable. So I've put them on links at the moment, but I'm actually going to be building buzz bars uh, for these to go on to. So it splits it, splits it down a little bit easier. Um, and then coming off of that, we'll obviously feed the inverter. It's going to go through fuses and it's going to go through an isolator as well. Even though we've got the, the Anderson plugs, um, which are technically isolators because you can just pop those out. Uh, we're going to be putting isolators in as well just for convenience. So uh, this is going to give you an idea. So we had 16 batteries, 509.68. We had four BMSs, uh, 276.85. A bit of cables and connectors, say about £40. Pounds. So the total for the 420 amp an hour, so four packs, um, was £826.53 pounds um, of lithium. So that works out at uh, 206 pounds and 63 pence per 105 amp an hour battery pack, one battery pack. So uh, yeah, all in all, um, it's it's really uh, cheaper <laughs> a, a way of putting the lithium. And when you consider that um, original manufacturers that, that do the posh batteries and uh, the nice shiny cases and everything inside there is the same cells as those, um, you could do it a lot cheaper yourselves. Uh, I will be putting a video together about uh, the actual build of, of the battery banks, so uh, and I'll try and get that out to you as soon as I can. But I just wanted to give you guys uh, a little bit of a heads up that there are alternative methods to putting batteries, lithium batteries, in your vans. And, uh, and, and as far as I'm concerned, they work very well. I mean, there's no difference, to be honest. There's no difference. Um, an amp is an amp. Um, at the end of the day, whether you've paid uh, £10,000 for that amp or £50 for that amp, it's the same amp. So just have a, have a think about that, guys, and uh, hopefully um, I'll, I'll give you some links in the next video and uh, give you some heads up of how I've actually put this together. And I hope it helps you guys. I really do uh, hope um, it helps somebody out. And uh, it, it takes away the, the thought of paying huge amounts of money out on lithium when actually you don't need to. So take care, guys. Speak to you soon. Please be careful because these things can bite. Um, you can pick the battery cells up on eBay. Uh, I chose to use use um, uh, AliExpress um, because of of the price. They they were a lot cheaper. You, you'll find that that there's companies out there that will actually buy the cells from China. They'll wait two months. They'll get the cells and then they'll double the price and put them on eBay. So you will be paying a lot more for them. So have a look on AliExpress if if you're not uh, worried too much about the two month delay. In getting the cells you will pay a lot less for them just uh, just make sure that you do get the grade a cells um, they are the best you can get um, make sure you read the reviews on aliexpress as well because there's lots of of uh, dodgy companies out there as well on aliexpress so be careful make sure you read the re reviews from other people that have purchased those batteries and, uh, and and make sure you're happy before you make that purchase but once you get them um, you will uh, you will save a lot of money. So all the best, guys. Take care and see you on the next one.